Hey guys, Trans99 here with another Halo Wars Mega Box review. Today we will be reviewing the old UNSC Warthog set. This is like the oldest one from 2009. Uh, it comes with lots of pieces, lots of stickers, and it is set number 96805. Let's go ahead and look at the um, Covenant turret that it comes with. It's right here. You've got the turret. Um, no, I did buy this off of eBay. I bought this set off of eBay. And it did not come with all of the parts. I bought this set with four others. So I am using some stand-in parts and some parts I just don't have. So this is the turret. It has plenty of stickers on it. Got some uh, bullet mark stickers in there, some whatever those are. Uh, these little light blue bits down here are all stickers, goes all the way around. And the main turret with the uh, sort of energy firing weapons. And you could, if you got the complete set, you could turn this um, on the base. You could turn it side to side the actual whole top part, but I did not have the pieces to make it do that, so I didn't even try. And, uh, and it does have a little, uh, if you can see that right there, yes, a little control panel sort of thing. And it's got one seat. The seat doesn't have any uh, way to actually connect a figure to it. It just, you set them in it. And this... This part can turn up and down, but as you see, it falls apart way too easily. This part just falls right off. So, uh, not the best quality here. I'm going to go ahead and throw that back there. And then with these long bits that are attached, they just sort of they fall off over time. It's not very good for playing with. So that just kind of fell off. So I'll put all that over there. I don't think I'd really use that for much. Um, and then, of course, to go with that, you've got the, um, the Covenant, uh, alien dude guy thing. And it comes with plasma rifle, I think. I don't, I don't play Halo, so I'm not gonna know all of this. I'm just trying to review a set that I think is cool. But I'm working on it. Um, so he's to hold that like that, and fire it, and all that. He's got the red painted on eyes. And he's pretty cool. Dark blue with gray. And uh, purple, of course, for the rifle thingy. And full articulation in the legs, the elbows, the knees, sort of. The shoulders of the head can... They're all... Uh, the head, shoulders, and hips are on ball joints. The elbows, the knees, and the hands are on pivot or, yeah, pivot joints or hinges. So that's a very nice character set piece thing, whatever. It goes together well. And I like it. And then we've got the Halo Mongoose. Let's take the box and move it out of the way. That. Put it over there. Look at this. This is pretty cool. It's old, but it's cool. It's got a lot of stickers. There's no printed pieces whatsoever. You can see just how many printed pieces, or not printed pieces, but stickers there are all over. But the uh, the most of the bricks, the green is all done with uh, sort of olive green mixed in with a almost rust color, and I think they overdid the rust quite a bit. But um, oh, there's some weapons. Move those over, and it was it's a really nice set. It's got full articulation of the suspension. It's got those little iconic, I guess, hooks in the front, lights. Lights in the back, and the nice trans black windshield. 
and of course the mounted machine gun. Now the machine gun was done much different, or much more different, back in 2009 with these sets. And if we were to pull both the minifigures out, I can show that there. This is as much articulation as you get. You can't pull it back. You can't push it forward. It's just up and down, right and left. And then, of course, these are two individual pieces. So those can be moved freely. And there's the area that you hold on. You hold on to these little bits here. Then these two are the parts that would rest on the chest. And it's pretty nice. It, it looks cool. We can go ahead and take it off of there. Because it just attaches with those two studs there. And uh, it's pretty cool. It uses some sort of truss pieces and a hinge. It's pretty nice. It spins a whole 180 degrees, or 360 degrees. I am not good with words today, I'm sorry. And, oh, I did forget to put one piece back on. Let me grab it real quick. This piece, of course, easily falls off. It is an antenna. That looks much better. And, of course, you've got the UNSC stickers on either side. And they've got some damage stickers scratched up. Uh, just stickers everywhere. They've got even an inside control panel there in the center. And they've got in the back even a little sticker of a fire extinguisher. No jerry cans on the back or anything. Of course, this is from Halo Wars. And they've even got a little license plate on there that says UNSC blue. This is a great set. I really, really like this. It's uh, It was pretty good quality. Made. Uh, I didn't get any malformed or broken pieces. Um, seeing as I got this off of eBay, it was missing some pieces, but I can't blame Megablox for that. And I had the pieces to fix it anyway. It's great. Rubber tires. Everything on here is really nice. And I like it a lot. You've got, of course, for the machine gun, by the way, you've got two um, studs, uh, which are three, this is one, and then middle two, and then three, if there were a middle one. That's where you'd put your minifigure, because their legs are three blocks apart. And for the, um, for the minifigures, you get two, um, Spartans, that come with, uh, this set, two Spartans come with this set for the Warthog, and then one Covenant that I showed you earlier. Um, these guys, they're pretty cool. Pretty normal, old, um, old style of armor, of course. Gold visors, and they've got a black matte wash over them. And they've got the holes in their back to attach accessories to. And they're pretty cool. Each one comes with a submachine gun, SMG. That's pretty neat. So you can hold one like that. I don't think that you can get them to hold both handles. No. no. They come that close to holding both handles, but they never really achieve it. And then just to look at the second one that you get. Ah, I've dropped it. Second one that you get, the same as the first. They're both done in gray. So these guys, all of green, pretty cool. I like them. They might as well be Master Chief in older armor. But that's what it was like. This was before he was all special Spartan guy, dude, thing. So that was pretty cool. And, of course, um, it is really difficult to get the Spartan to sit in the front because of just the way you have to position his legs that are supposed to be three studs apart, but you got to squeeze them in there to be two studs. You can still sort of connect him to the um, plate underneath like I did there, sort of. But it's really kind of difficult, you see. But he'll stick in there. It will stick. And their legs sometimes collide with the uh, suspension, which is unprotected. And then uh, up here... You can stick a Spartan onto those two there, or not. Well, 
the idea is that you could stick them on and then attach them here and they could shoot and stuff but it's a really nice set uh, I'm not even gonna get out the other turret because that's not the main part of this this is the instructions pretty basic um, let's flip to a good page there's some instructions that they show they did come with stabilizer pieces so that you would fit those under here to hold it up when you're putting everything together so that you don't have to rely completely on the wheels. The stickers comes with a few extras in case you want to make it look better or worse. And the Halo Wars sticker you can do whatever with. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like this set and I give it a thumbs up. Thanks and see ya.